Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Uh, today we are doing a inspired by look. Um, and for ages I have loved The Princess and the Frog. So I thought we'll do a Tiana inspired look so we'll go very green. So uh, let's get into it. Yeah, so uh, I love Princess. I love Disney, but I love the Princess and the Frog. Me and Joanne can watch it all the time. We love the music. Like I love the whole sort of Mardi Gras, New Orleans sort of thing. I'd love to go there one day. So I was thinking about a look I could do. Like who? What sort of look did I want to do, and who was it inspired by? And I was just thinking I want to do something green. And then I my camera keeps wobbling um and then I was sorting stuff out in the bedroom and um go going down the bayou popped on my head on my head in my head so I thought you know what I'll do it based on Tiana so obviously there's a few differences with Tiana like you know the, the age where we're from skin color uh she can sing and I cannot we can both cook we've got that um, I can't talk to crocodiles, no, alligators, Lewis is an alligator, you know, but thought green's my favourite colour, so why not, why, why not just do something that I really, really think I'll enjoy. Uh, so for my eyes today I am going to be using the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette, so I'm going to be using ooh, the green shade here called Il, and this yellow shade called Vla. Um, that sort of has Mikai in it so I need to sort of dust that off all you can hear is Susie um, so I'm gonna go do my brows and then I'll come back and uh, we'll get into the eye look and we'll hope that Susie's stopped shouting at everything oh Hugo started this is the joys of women with dogs Every time I do my eyebrows now, I'm like singing the little manny back in the brows are field thing. I'm like, you've got to stop doing this. <laughs> um, so just going to prime my eyes with a bit of my collection Last Imperfection Concealer. This is in the shade Porcelain. So I just kept my camera running while I was doing my eyebrows because I was like, meh, why not? purely because I'm lazy and can't be bothered to move and you know I don't even have to move because I have a remote just here that I can use to uh, start and stop my videos so uh, I just had to dig a little deeper on it I was having a right little boogie so oh my god the Disney child in me is uh, probably oh I just love Disney so much like I have a Marie cushion there, I have a Marie money box there, I have a Marie mug. Marie is my favourite. I am planning to do a look inspired by Marie. But uh, not yet. <laughs> like everything, oh I just love it. Like I like Disney in the conventional sense of the animated Disney films or well, the princess ones, like I like the live action ones but like the princess films and you know, The Lion King, one of my favourite films ever, The Aristocats obviously, Moana, I bloody love Moana, I went to the cinema to see it and uh, I cried um, and it was it was because it reminded me of my grand, like when her grand dies and my grand died I was like, hi princess, you can't get down there, you can't, come up then, come on then. Speaking of princesses, there's a noisy one down here. Come here, Bean. Come here. Who's that? 
Oh, you're going this way. Oh, I've got a treat. She's going to find the treat. This is why my pillows are covered, by the way. So the cats can lay on them. I've hidden the treat. Oh, she's a gorgeous girl. Let's look at them toes. She's got like an extra bit of claw growing out of one of her toes. So I have to keep checking it to make sure it's not like grown. And it hasn't. Like we have blankets. In the, this is a towel so we don't get anything on the bed. Because Joanne would kill me. But we have blankets on the end of the bed so they can lay there. And then obviously the duvet. But yeah, Pablo has got a thing for laying right here. Like he'll sleep up here or right between both our pillows. So we just cover them with blankets. So that, um, you know, when we're trying to sleep, we're not getting facefuls of cat hair. So I'm going to take a little bit of that lovely green shade called Ew. And I'm not blending it or anything at the minute. I'm literally just putting it where I want it. And then I'll blend afterwards. So Tiana has these lovely big eyes. So I'm not going to go, I don't want a big winged out one. I'm going to go for quite a big sort of rounded eye. Look, that is very round. I've literally done a semicircle on my eye. And then I'm going to take a bit of Vla. That's a gorgeous yellow. And I'm just going to blend the edges out with that. Like, honestly, the only yellow that I really use is B from the James Charles palette. Because it's like the perfect sort of bright yellow. Like a really true, sort of like a B, literally a B yellow. This top says B kind, by the way. I've worn it like once. Um, whereas Vla is more of a... I don't know I want to say like pastel but it's not pastel but it's like lighter it's not quite as vibrant but I'm just using that to buffer out buffer uh, buff out the edges just blending and obviously bringing it into the front of my brow because why would I not I like sort of the medium color that I'm getting in the middle of that and then I'm just gonna go back in with more of the green just to really make that pop and I want it darker on the outside like not darker but more vibrant on my outer corner go into a sort of more pastel -y sort of shade on the inner corner do you know the only thing I don't like about makeup is I find so many nice pretty sort of lighter colors like these colors that I'm using in my veins on my eyes are so prominent even with concealer you can see them i've used literally everything i can i've tried p louise base everything you can always see my veins it's sad and i dislike it so now i'm just going to go and do the same on this eye and then we'll sort of finish it off how that looks so far so we've literally just got the green and the yellow um i do have a crusty eyelid that sounds disgusting um it's just where i've had eczema it's not fun um, so i'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and i'm not gonna like cut the crease as such because i don't uh, it's not gonna be a cut crease anyway but i just sort of want to a bit of a base there it's more of a halo eye to be honest but just a bit of a base so that the shimmer sticks because I don't want it all over my face and I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade all in because like a goldish colour but it's also got a gorgeous reflect she's on the windowsill and all you can see is a fat tail hanging out yeah it's a gold colour but it's got like a sort of duochromey 
sort of effect but it's like a greeny sort of pinky reflect and I love that and I'm not being like really neat with this because I quite like the idea of the glittery elements sort of getting a bit everywhere because you know that's what being a princess is all the glitter all the fun and then I'm just mixing a bit of vla and eel and just sort of buffing the edges out I'm gonna do liner I'm just gonna do like a small wing because as I said Tiana's got those gorgeous big eyes and I don't want to mine are already hooded I don't want to like make them smaller but I need to line them so I don't need to I just want to <laughs> So as you can see it's literally the smallest line um, and that's using the tattoo liner by KVD and it's in the shade Trooper which is the black one and I'll do like my under eye and stuff afterwards um, I'm just going to use some of my MUA Pro Space Pro Space Pro Base Smooth Set and Smooth Set and Blur yeah I swear this cat is going to be the death of me. Look, that's a Lilo hair stuck in my primer. So obviously you saw, I just sort of whacked that all over my face. These sort of areas, forehead, cheeks and chin, I'll just rub in and then round my nose, I'll pat it. And I'm going to apologise now for my hair. It's I washed it last night, so I've plaited it, so it's nice and wavy. And uh, I've not taken it down yet because I thought I'll take it down and then it'll just get in my face and I'll get frustrated. I'm just going to put a bit of chapstick on. <laughs> my lips are sore. For foundation, I am using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator medium coverage up to 24 hour wear and this is the shade 30 light so I've not tried this I don't I'm gonna give it a quick shake because I always find my squeezy bottles because I lay them down everything sort of starts to separate so I've just put like a bit on my back on my, on my back on my hand for now so we'll just go from there obviously I'm not expecting massively full coverage but you know what that's pretty good the colour's not bad either I thought it was going to be like really dark when I got the tube I was like oh my god but you know that's the joys of being a pale ass bitch do you want to stop ripping the curtains up you little git god don't get cats they're horrid they're not I love them to bits but Jesus Christ she's in an annoying mood today I think this would probably be nicely like you could build it quite nicely Someone asked me the other day, there she is, why I put foundation on my ears. I don't even know, it could have been joy. No, I think it was a message that I got. And I was like, because my ears are really red compared to my face. So if I, um, if I put foundation on them, they don't look weird. And I'm just blending that with the sponge. It's the same sponge as I used yesterday. I've not washed it yet. <laughs> oh, this is nice and glowy like I knew it was going to be glowy because you know it's a glowy foundation it's really nice like obviously there's a there's a bit of a colour difference but um, I said in a video that I did the other day I think it was did I film it yesterday one of them 
that my neck like here is so pale like compared to my chest that's quite red if I go for this my head literally looks like it's been cut off my body and just put on someone else's so I tend to go for sort of more pinky toned to match well my my actual face and to match my chest and they match pretty well I mean on camera it looks a bit strange you know what doesn't help that I have orange curtains so the light coming through everything looks a bit more orange than usual I'm just going to take a bit more of that collection last imperfection concealer see I've started using less concealer um, and just sort of doing here here but my bags at the moment are unreal so we're going back to crazy amounts But my theory with this was my, uh, this concealer is very light, so I thought if it was really dark I can, like my foundation, I can lighten it with the concealer and you know what, it's done its job. So obviously I said that I love the Princess and the Frog, my favourite character. Uh, it is Tiana, I love her. She's a badass bitch that knows what she wants. And you know, and she's willing to kiss a frog or two to get there. You know, I kissed a couple of frogs in my time and now I don't have a prince. I don't want no prince. The only prince I need is m my fluffy prince. And, you know, my fluffy adopted prince. Which is Ted, by the way. I'm talking about Teddy and Pablo. <laughs> uh, no, but, you know... I now know what I want and what I've got to do to get there. There was a hair. Yeah. Um, I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on a powder puff to set under my eyes. Um, I'm using the Elf Putty Blush in Turks and Caicos. Just on a dense brush. This is such a gorgeous blush. I don't know why I keep tapping, like, it's just habit. Like, it doesn't look like there's much on there, but it's, it's subtle. It gives me like a nice glow and I love it. Um, and then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. But, you know, going back to Princess and the Frog, this is literally inspired by her. Who's everyone else's favourite character? Like, I think my mum and sister didn't like it, so they didn't watch it. But, Joanne likes Lewis, the alligator. But then I really, really, I really like Ray, his Evangeline. But then I also do really like Lottie because like how cute she's like oh I'm a prince and then you know it doesn't go her way and she's she's still like oh dear come we'll do this and like I'll help you and I'm like oh that's a good friend um, I'm using my Ofra Versatile Matte Bronzer <laughs> tapping off the excess but I do want this to be a bronzy look because well, she lives in New Orleans if I was in New Orleans I'd probably be bright red um, because I just tend to uh, burn I'd, uh, I get a slight tan but I'm that pale that I just burn but yeah I want it to be bronzy that was a bit too bronzy holy crap Oh no, I've just taken off everything on my nose. Pants. Right, let's see if I can fix this. I think sometimes I forget when I'm using that bronzer. It's very pigmented. And I go in, look, now I am really a different colour because I went so bronzy. Um, I'm just going to pop a bit more blush on top of the blush that I'd already done. I'm using it the 
uh, Walk of No Shame, Cheek to Chic by Charlotte Tilbury. But honestly, this is probably what I'd look like if I was in New Orleans because uh, I don't do well in heat. Um, and then I'm going to highlight. It's just my Wet and Wild highlighter in Blossom Glow. Um, bit of lower lash um what's it called shadow so i'm just going to take more of ew and pop that on my lower lash line and i'm focusing this shade more on the sort of outer maybe half and then taking a different brush i'm going to take vla do that on the inner half I'm gonna do my mascara this is the KVD go big or go home and I've not done much on my lower lashes I wanted to keep them quite natural um, and honestly I'm not gonna put ashes on either because I really like this look and I don't want to ruin it <laughs> so just gonna wipe off my lips and I'm just gonna go for a nude so I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in pillow talk no this is not this is the that's the wrong one. Oh well I'm using it this is the Gerard Gerard, Gerard whatever cosmetics in share the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in this is pillow talk oh I think that's really pretty let's take my crazy hair down like it really is crazy I don't even know if it's dry I think it's still damp <laughs> smells so good I've been using my function of beauty stuff um, and the scent I've got at the minute is rose I think and it's gorgeous see I don't know how to feel about this whole middle parting thing I like my messy side part so I'm gonna stick with yeah still a bit damp but this is the final look what are we thinking because I am thinking I am in love with this you should hear my throat I love it oh I really love it love you can just see like my Nutella bars and my Udi rest in there um, that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed doing it this oh I kind of want to watch princess and frog right now so uh, yes I am gonna go uh, clean up all my mess I am filming another video straight after this so watch out for that it'll probably be in a couple of weeks um, well, you might see this one first I can't remember what way I decided to do it but I'll have the same hair same makeup same clothes because I'm not getting changed but um, I will see you next week don't forget to like comment subscribe share with all your friends uh, subscribe I've already said that uh, follow my Twitter Instagram Facebook page TikTok all of it will be down below along with all of the products I used and uh, I'll see you next time bye